All right, so I found another one. Um, what is it, Proverbs 27, 20. So it says, hell and destruction, <laughs> I'm always forgetting the verse. Hell and destruction are never full. So is man's eyes because he's never satisfied. Now that's powerful right there. It says hell and destruction are never filled. It's never full, meaning that it has more to devour, has more to, to encompass. And there's an analogy made between that hell and destruction and man's eyes. He's never satisfied. He's never full. So that sticks out to me like something serious, meaning that we always got to like protect your eye gates. You got to be mindful of what you're constantly taking in on a day to day basis. You know, you got two ears, you got two eyes. But this one in particular, this verse spoke about protecting and being mindful of your eye gates. You know, man is so greedy instinctively that lower base nature that you just want to indulge and you want to be gluttonous and covetous and having covet covet stuff you know material physical stuff um it's never a good thing and that basically like it implies that if you don't protect your eye gates you're basically going on a one-way path to destruction and to hell because you're going to consume yourself because you're gonna constantly consume all of the stuff that's around you. And you're not gonna follow the laws or the commandments. So because you didn't protect those eye gates, because you didn't get off of Instagram when you were waking up in the morning, you just jumped on immediately. Because you kept scrolling through TikTok videos and what have you, because you didn't put a filter on your eyeballs, you essentially are going towards you're going towards that spot that place that's going to mess you up completely you, you're, you're sending yourself there and this is a message to me as well because it's a message to all of us because if we're not constantly monitoring it and diligent from a day-to-day -day basis from a day-to-day -day basis we're sending ourselves to hell. I mean, it's as straight up as that. You know, King Solomon was telling us, he was giving us game back in the day. He was giving it raw to us, like straight up, like, yo, hell is always looking for new souls. It's always looking for it. So you want an easy way of going there? Oh yeah, just let anything pass yourself. Just take in all of the stuff. So what do we see ourselves in modern day? The cheap entertainment, Netflix all of that stuff that promotes all of this sexual immorality and all of this stuff. And everybody's like indulging that stuff like crazy. So, you know, that, then you got the social media aspect of it and you're just setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up big time, big, big time. So yeah, it's Proverbs 27, 20 y'all. Giving it straight like that, something serious. Protect those eye gates protect them we got to protect them y'all got to put those shades on those reflecting shades that you throw them bad boys on the light will just bow it'll just flicker back it's not letting anything in we got to have that we got to put those spiritual shades on like those shades from uh what's the movie one of my favorite joints uh they live that that movie with uh uh Rod, Rod, roddy piper the wrestler the old school wrestler when he had to throw those shades on and he could see all, si all types of stuff in the spiritual realm, but we would we would be throwing these shades on just to make sure that we don't get hit with the bullshit. That was our filter, our filter shades. So yeah, let's guard them eye gates, fellas. Let's keep it going. Later, peace.